everyone let's orient ourselves with this cadaveric specimen of both lungs and a heart this is how this whole structure is placed inside the thoracic cavity now if you orient yourself this is the left lung this is the right lung and this is the heart with pericardium in between the both uh, lungs in between now to see the structures associated with each other you can see over here let me pull it apart and you can see the heart placed over here okay these are the hilar structures present in the left lung these are the hilar structures present in the right lung this is the heart covered by this fibrous pericardium over here and you can see this fibrous pericardium is cut and removed from the view you can see this sinus surface from the inside of this cardio uh, pericardium and this is because of the parietal layer of the serous pericardium and outer layer is not so shiny this is the fibrous pericardium over here this is the front view of the heart and you can see the great vessels arising from the superior border of the heart this is the aorta arch of aorta over here ascending aorta this, this is the arch of aorta with its three branches you can see the three branches are first one this is the brachiocephalic trunk second one this is the left common carotid artery and this is left subclavian artery another structure here you can see this is the pulmonary trunk this pulmonary trunk divides into two right and left pulmonary arteries this is the superior vena cava and you can see it has two tributaries main two tributaries this is the left brachiocephalic vein also called as left innominate vein this is the right brachiocephalic vein and there is another vein over here you can see this is the aegyrus vein draining inside it this is the highest intercostal vein of the left side sorry right side this is the highest intercostal vein of the right side draining into the right brachiocephalic vein from the posterior aspect you can see these are the posterior border of the lung and this is the posterior media stenum over here different structures like trachea esophagus thoracic duct and the descending thoracic aorta will be seen over here other structures that should be seen over here this is the base of the heart over here formed by the left atrium this is the pulmonary trunk dividing into right and left pulmonary arteries this is the aegyrus vein draining into superior vena cava over here theek okay. hai let me part it a bit so that you can see it a lot clearly see it here see here. this is the arch of aorta turning into now descending thoracic aorta over here and you can see on the lung on the left lung this marking this mark over here this mark over here is for the descending thoracic aorta and these are the hilar structures of the left lung this one is the pulmonary artery over here this one is the bronchus this is superior pulmonary vein and this is inferior pulmonary vein similarly on the right side on the right side you can see this is the pulmonary artery this is superior pulmonary vein inferior pulmonary vein and this one is the bronchus it will divide into epiarterial bronchus and the hyperarterial bronchus over here now let's orient ourselves to individual specimens of the lung and the heart let us first start with the left lung this is essential to keep the lung in the side with which it belongs so this is the left lung i will be keeping it in the left hand and then explain it to orient any solid structure in three dimensional space we need to explain it in all the three axes that is x axis y axis and z axis and for this specimen we have the three axes x axis is the transverse axis 
z axis is the anterior posterior axis and y axis is the vertical axis so in the vertical axis you can see the lung is directed the apex of the lung which is conical part is directed upward and the base of the lung that is broad the broad base of the lung is directed downward in the ap axis that is anterior posterior axis you can see the anterior border of the of the lung is sharp and the posterior border of the lung is the broad one this is the posterior border of the lung broad one and in the transverse axis that is the medial lateral axis you can see the hilar structure of the lung is present on the medial aspect and the and on the lateral aspect we can see this is the costal surface of the lung having the markings of the ribs so in this way i determine it this is the left lung i request you never to use the number of lobes and the number of fissures in determining the side of the lungs always use the concept of these three axes x axis y axis and z axis to determine any solid structure in three dimensional space be it lung heart or any other viscera also now let's see the hilar structures of the lung in the left lung this is the hilum of the lung over here and the structures present in the hilum of the lung you can see this is the pulmonary artery this one is bronchus and this is inferior pulmonary vein this is superior pulmonary vein to identify it always start with the bronchus you touch it and you will feel the cartilages over here the structure in which cartilages will be felt will be the bronchus and the structure above it will be pulmonary artery the structure below it will be the inferior pulmonary vein and the structure in front of the bronchus will be superior pulmonary vein the different markings over the mediastinal surface of the lung you can see over here this is the marking of descending thoracic aorta this is descending thoracic aorta this is the impression of the left ventricle of the heart over here this is the lingula of the left uh, lung this portion is the tongue like projection over here you can see this is the lingula of the lung now for the right lung the hilar structures of the right lung you can see over here let me show you we will touch it and you will feel this is the bronchus over here this bronchus this is pulmonary artery over here the bronchus is aparterial bronchus hyparterial bronchus this is superior pulmonary vein and this one is the inferior pulmonary vein over here to determine its side you can see since it is the right lung i will place it in the right hand and then i will explain it to the examiner the apex of the lung is directed upward conical structure directed upward and the base is directed downward the base is the broad one and it is a concave structure the anterior border of the lung is sharp and the posterior border is broad the mediastinal surface that is on the medial surface we have the hilar structure of the lung and on the lateral surface we have the costal surface of the lung which is convex and we can see the marking of the ribs over here these ribs so this determines it is the right side right sided lung lobes and fissures will not be used for side determination but you can show them this is the oblique fissure of the lung this is the oblique fissure of the lung and this one is the horizontal fissure of the lung this demarcates the right lung into divides the right lung into three lobes upper lobe middle lobe and the lower lobe in the left lung only oblique fissure is present only oblique fissure is present here this is the oblique fissure you can see this is the oblique fissure of the lung divided into upper lobe and the lower lobe only but the lobe number of lobes and fissures are variable and it can change now let's talk about the heart
to place the heart in an anatomical position we need to first fix the hand on which the heart is to be placed the left hand should, should be kept by the side of your body at an angulation of 45 degree it will make and then you place the heart in the left hand as such the apex is directed towards the thumb apex is directed towards the thumb this is the correct way to place the heart in anatomical position heart is a heart is not a paired structure so it lies in the thoracic cavity centrally but the apex of the heart is directed downward forward and towards the left you can see this is the apex of the heart over here and since it is the apex the diagonally opposite structure that will be the base of the heart the posterior surface of the heart is the base of the heart you can see this heart is covered by pericardium over here this is the fibrous pericardium we will remove it and you can see the inner sinus surface of the fibrous pericardium is because of the uh, serous uh, parietal layer of serous pericardium lining over it we have removed remove the pericardium and you can see different structures over here this is the anterior surface or also called as the sternocostal surface of the heart this is the right surface of the heart this is the left surface of the heart this is posterior surface of the heart and the surface on which the heart is placed that is on my hand the left hand represents the diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface of the heart this one is the superior border of the heart you can see the superior border is obscured because of the presence of these great vessels this is the pulmonary trunk the most anterior structure Be behind it this is the ascending aorta and this is the arch of aorta and you can see the different chambers that is visible from the anterior view this is the right atrium and a small projection from it is the right auricle this is right auricle this portion represents the right ventricle and this portion represents the left ventricle you can see the left atrium is not visible from the anterior aspect it is visible from the posterior aspect and because the left vent left atrium makes the base of the heart the only part of the left atrium that is visible from the front side is the left auricle you can see this is the left auricle visible from the anterior aspect the groove present between the right atrium and the right ventricle is called as the right atrioventricular groove and you can see the right coronary artery present in the right atrioventricular groove cooler groove here this is the right coronary artery running downward from the aorta ascending aorta gives rise to here the coronary arteries and you can see this is the right coronary artery arising from the anterior aortic sinuses sinus and then running downward and towards the right this is the right coronary artery and this right coronary artery winds around the inferior border of the heart at this place and here you can see the left anterior descending artery this is the left anterior descending artery a branch of left coronary artery over here and this is another branch of it this is the diagonal artery diagonal artery a branch of left uh, left anterior descending artery this is the left circumflex artery over here you can see i will just remove the from the view and this is the left circumflex artery left circumflex artery both left circumflex artery and the left anterior descending artery are the branch of left coronary artery and you can see over here the left coronary artery arising from the left posterior aortic sinus here this is the left coronary artery another great vessel this was the pulmonary trunk and this pulmonary trunk divided into right and left pulmonary artery over here you can see this is the left pulmonary artery and this is the right pulmonary artery from the posterior aspect you can see these structures this is the left brachiocephalic vein this is right brachiocephalic vein both will form the superior vena cava 
this is the superior vena cava and this is a gigas vein draining into superior vena cava here you can see this is the arch of aorta giving rise to three arteries this is brachiocephalic trunk this is left common carotid this is left subclavian and this arch of aorta below it we have here this is the pulmonary trunk divided into left pulmonary artery and right pulmonary artery you can see this space over here this is the transverse sinus transverse pericardial sinus here on the anterior aspect we have the arterial end of the heart and on the posterior side we have the venous end of the heart so this is the transverse pericardial sinus you can keep it like this the pulmonary veins these are the four pulmonary veins superior pulmonary vein inferior pulmonary vein of the left side and here superior pulmonary vein and inferior pulmonary vein of the right side draining into left atrium this is the left atrium over here so if all the veins including uh, all four pulmonary veins and the superior vena cava if i keep it in right hand and on the left hand i keep it the arterial end that is aorta as well as the pulmonary trunk and i will separate it so this is the transverse sinus transverse pericardial sinus this is transverse pericardial sinus which is present between the arterial end of the heart and the venous end of the heart